Fellow Bia friends, I gl I'm glad to we welcome you to Biafra Universal TV this moment with this vital update. I want you to understand that um, to be a man is not with a mouth, it's by action and by doing. To be a man is to stand your ground and maintain your stand relevantly. To be a man is to be useful to yourself and to be useful to others around you and to be useful to the society where you belong. Here is the spotlight. The Nigerian military terrorists have challenged Asaredukubo for a fight with his men. Don't forget that Asaredukubo was or is the warlord of Niger Delta, which contributed a lot of afflictions on Biafran agitators. As Nigerian soldier, as Nigerian soldiers colluded with him to massacre Biafrans in Imo State, in Uganda, Abuja, Obibo and Omoze, to be precise. Don't forget that Asaradokubo was one of the worst arch enemy or enemies of Biafrans and Mazenam de Kano. That as a Tinibu just entered Asarok, Asaradokubo went to Tinibu and told him that Mazen Namdekano is a criminal, is a terrorist that don't deserve to be released. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, the real Biafrans I'm talking to this moment, the real Igbo people in the whole world, there are things you cannot forget, but because you cannot forget, you cannot forgive. So, Asare Dukubo and his company of Tinibu administration and Buhari colluded against the Biafrans. Some Biafrans are dead, some of them are in the prison, some of them are in the police custody, and the elongation of Mazen Amdekano or the incarceration of Mazen Amdekano in the DSS custody. Asare Dukubo is one of those who spearheaded it. And Tinibu gave him some millions of naira. I think the money has finished because he had multiple wives, excessive wives and children. So, but he could not take care of them. For this reason, nothing that is given to Asare Dukubo that will satisfy him because he doesn't know his level and he doesn't know his left from his right. The same man as Kano I'm talking about today, the same man as Aradokubo went to Kuje prison and begged the man as an All right? To lend him money and sincerely speaking, Mazen Amdekano lent him money. He said he is going to support the actualization of Biafra as Mazen Amdekano is being arrested during Buhari regime. He promised heaven and earth how he, he was going to make sure that the Biafra agitation is going to increase 
and Biafran freedom must come with immediate effect, even in his absence. He demanded for 20 million naira, which Mazen and the candle lent him that 20 million naira. I can assure you and bet you that today, Asari Dukubo did not pay that money back to Mazen and the candle. He did not refund that money. See, there are things that when you see, or when you hear, or when you discover, you hold your peace. Let whatever that is happening, happen. As Dukubo have made a lot of noise against their friends. But I'm telling you that now it is hot on him and his people. As Nigerian military terrorists declare as a Dukubo wanted. You know that Nigerian military, they didn't go to school. They don't know anything. Education, they don't know anything. Law, they don't know anything about law. Go and find out. Because when you say you declare somebody wanted, are you a policeman? Are you a police officer? Are you a lawyer? Are you a judge? To issue bench warrant to somebody who is on the road. So you see, these are a set of zombies. As I do, boy is a zombie. Then the Nigerian military bandits are zombies. So they collided. What I'm telling you this moment is that as a Redukubo surrendered that he doesn't mean all what he came to social media to say. Uh, it was just a joke. He didn't know what to come over him and he started saying it. Just look at a man Somebody who call himself a man, a warlord of Niger Delta. He quickly, in the presence of Nigerian military terrorists, denied his speeches. He denied his word. So look at what is called a man. You see Mazen Amdekar in the DSS custody. What he tells you last year, you see what he's talking today. What he told you four years ago, ten years ago, you see what he's standing on. And when Nigeria DSS want to mess up with him, he told them that if they kill him now, Biafra will come quick. And relevantly, I concur that a scratch on him will attract the fastness of declaration of Biafra. There is nothing to fear about. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that he had a scratch. I assure you the truth, that what Mazen Namdekano said is nothing but the truth. That will weaken the declaration of Biafra. We are not talking of death, him dying. He will not die. Nothing will happen to him. Because Tinibu is conscious of everything he is doing. Buhari is conscious of everything he is doing. And that is why they, 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 they can't do it. They knew it that Nigeria will go ablaze. Do you take Mazen and the Kano for granted? 
he talk to your judiciary. Binta Janko, when she want to play hanky panky, he told her to remove her hands off her hand from his case. She has done a lot, a lot of evil to him. How could have you discharged and acquitted somebody and uh, because of an evil entity called Nigeria that their constitution have no immunity, they call you back to come and judge that person. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court to say this case shall not be tried anywhere in Nigeria or anywhere. So, but this person is uh, completely free. Reason being that Nigeria is running an ironic country, a illegal country, a illegal, a illegal government. Nigeria is running a legal government. And that is why everything about Nigeria is illegality. To, to have gone to Kenya to kidnap Mazen Amdekano with United Kingdom International Passport. How do you look at it? And today they are still doing what they do. And you never see reason to see Nigeria state as a, a, a terrorist country. Tinibu thought that he will escape. When he ran to UK, he's going there for two, two years, two weeks, a public holiday to go and celebrate himself. They pursue him back. Go back to your country. Go and celebrate whatever you're celebrating. You destroy your country, you come to another man's country to stay, to do what, do what today. You come to corrupt their country. So if your country is good, why won't you stay there for your public holiday? It's better that you are around in your country as a president so that if there is any problem, you can quickly come for rescue of the people you claim to be ruling. So no leadership, no ruling, no 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 experience, nothing. People who are supposed to be roadside mechanics, they are now president and vice president and deputies, uh, senate president and senate presidents. Pam wine tapas. They are now the AGF of Nigeria. So what I'm saying this moment, Nigerian military declares as Aradukubo wanted. I want to say that Nigerian military have no right legally to declare anybody wanted. It's the judge, it's the court that have the right to declare somebody wanted by issuing a bench warrant. Anywhere you see the person getting arrested. Anywhere bench warrant and it's the work of the police and CID DSS in Nigeria is a baseless organization baseless baseless you say you are DSS you are a bandit so what I'm saying this moment I don't want any beer friend to bother himself or herself about Asare Dukubo's problem with Nigeria security terrorist because they are all the same. They walk, walk hand in hand. They eat on the same plate. They drink with the same cup. There's no difference. So let Asare Dukubo stand and face the battle as a man. That's what I'm saying. Let him stop running and let him stop surrendering. He yielded up so fast, which is not expected of him as the warlord. So he has his militaries. He has his ammunitions. Let him confront those who are confronting him.